Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly Magazine, published on Friday, 20 September 2024. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly Deputy Editor Online Marlene Alnaldi outlines the new Agriculture Minister's vision for growing and modernizing the country's agriculture ecosystem. Newly appointed Agriculture Minister John Steenhuizen is pushing a renewed focus on structural reforms, biosecurity and improved trade relations with other countries, as the Democratic Alliance leader takes charge of the department as part of the Government of National Unity. The engineering news features focus on stainless steel and ferrochrome, where an organization reintroduces awards and promotes sustainability and heating, ventilation, air conditioning and refrigeration, where adherence to a governing framework is key to development. The Mining Weekly features focus on mining in Zambia, where a global miner trials a battery-powered dump truck. And a preview of the Joburg in Daba, where the event aims to tackle challenges and set a path for a better future. This week's business leader is Cornelius Kutsia, country manager at Verto South Africa. And as this week's cartoon shows, a combination of external shocks and internal own goals has left South Africa in a low growth trap. With the government of national unity now prioritizing inclusive growth, organized business believes it's also time to rethink the country's growth strategy. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.co.za. Happy reading and see you next time.